What's up, everybody? Azar Real here, outside right now on this hot ass day. It's like 97 degrees, but it feels like 101, as they say. Um, <laughs> if it feels like 101, the motherfucker is 101, but nevertheless, um, you guys know that I've been doing this since 2006, and rarely, very rarely, I think the last time I even spoke on anything, um, you know, that was affecting me outside of what I do on YouTube was like, shit, probably 2011, 2012, like, I don't remember, like, I rarely speak on things like this, and most of you know, because I made a video on it before, I don't like to bring my negativity to the channel, but sometimes you see something, because me, I go through bullshit on the daily, like, no little shit, I, I go through bullshit on the daily to the point where I could bring it to your attention. That's why some of you be wondering why I don't be doing channel updates on a weekly basis or, you know, because I'll be, I'll be going through it. I got to remind myself that I got to do these channel updates and things like that because, I don't know, maybe if I talk about this negative stuff and get it off my chest more often, maybe I'll be able to get back in, you know, good straights. But nevertheless, man, I don't like bringing a lot of negative attention to my videos because I, I, I like to keep things positive but sometimes things can be so fucking negative and stupid that you just got to speak on it and this is one of those moments so i was on facebook recently and i seen an article i actually seen the same article like a couple months ago but i didn't pay it no mind and then it popped up again and i see more people posting it on my timeline and shit like that and i feel like if you have the information to or if you have something to say that's actually educational or just something positive to counter all the negative bullshit that's going on out there you need to say it otherwise when you dead and gone you're gonna wish you would have said it so that's how i always felt and i, I kind of keep that part of me in check sometimes because i don't want to just be one of those guys that stands on a soapbox and speak on every little thing that's out there but some things just need to get talked about and some of you may have seen the article that's floating around um, Facebook itself. Um, it was written by a transgender person, and it, it stated that no. In the headline, it states, "No, I do not have to tell you if I'm transgender or not when I'm trying to date you," or something along the lines of that. And you know, I, I read the article, and at least to say whoever wrote this fucking article is a fucking moron. I mean. Uh, based on that logic, a person with HIV doesn't need to tell a person that they're dating that they have HIV before they date them or, or before they have um, unprotected sex with them or something like that. Like that mentality right there is just so beyond fucking stupid. Why would you sit there and think that you don't need to... Th now, me, I'm cautious. I don't get caught up in none of that bullshit. That's why I ain't got no kids running around right now. Guaranteed. I don't have no police. I don't have no criminal record. I don't have nothing. I'm too fucking cautious. Even if I get a whiff, a whiff that a woman is a man, even if I'm wrong, I'd rather not take that chance because I don't want to get caught up in that. You see, too many people get caught up in that. Eddie Murphy got caught up in it. Chingy, he had the little thing with that trainee, uh, what was her name? Uh, Sydney Starr, I believe. And that's like a long list of celebrities that's getting caught with trannies, you know, battle rappers, a whole bunch of shit. And I never wanted to be one of those people that get caught up in nothing like that, so... You know, I'm learning how not to be via those, those examples. But yeah, it's just how do you get to the point where you honestly think that it's right for you not to tell somebody that you're a trans person? You know, it's a reason why you're called trans. You're not the actual thing. Just because you think that you're something doesn't mean that it's that's you, you know. But the mentality that somebody has to have, the arrogance that somebody has to have for them to literally sit there and write an article like this, and I'm going to post it in the description so you guys can see it for yourself, um, the way you don't think that you have to tell somebody that you're trans, first off, you're making a decision for somebody that they don't want to make themselves, that they're, that, that they're not comfortable with because that's not who they are, you know, nobody is gay that doesn't want to be that way. You know what I'm saying? And if and I, when people say things like that, I feel like you're trying to trick somebody into being gay. And that's the reason why a lot of motherfuckers be getting shot these days because y'all be doing that trifling shit. Just being real at the end of the day. Every time you look up, there's another article about somebody getting shot over, you know, this person lying about who they was or, 
You know what I'm saying? And that's not outside of the realm of trans people tricking people into thinking that there's something that they're not. Or let me say naturally born as. You know, if I'm a man, which I am, I don't want to date a trans woman. I'm interested in dating an actual woman. Somebody who I can have kids with. Someone, you know, who can let me put my head in their boobs. Like, no, 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 nothing stupid like that. But, you know, somebody who I can... You know, a female who can actually be a mother to my child. You know what I mean? Like, so, so, you know, I need an authentic woman. I don't want some knockoff product. You know, that's basically what trans people are. They're knockoffs of what the actual thing is, you know. You know, we want Gucci. Y'all want Getchy. Whatever the fuck that is. But, um, but yeah, like, all jokes aside, it's like, that's a serious issue that you think that you don't have to tell somebody that you're trans before you date them you know it's i mean you can go down the line as to why this is wrong but they already made it up in their mind that they're right in that regard so they're going to influence other people to do that same bullshit and more people are going to get killed like don't don't be a trans person and then not have the respect for somebody that is straight to make a sound decision like okay I don't want to be with you just because you want to be happy at my expense and some of them they don't even want to be happy some of them they just get this thrill of wanting to trick people into thinking that there's something that they're not and that's hey, that's real because I see them on you know it's people who I didn't even know who were trans that I was adding as friends on my Facebook and then here they go you know like I said I'm cautious so I don't comment on nobody's picture but I do be looking and I'll be saying, okay, well, this, this is whatever, you know. And then I look under the comments and people be leaving comments and everything like that. And then next the next, the next thing you know, they got another video up so, talking about how much of a dude they are. Like, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like little tricky shit like that. And of course, lead, leadless to say those people are, 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 are not on my friends list anymore. But, you know, it's sad when you have evil like that in the world. When you got motherfuckers who just, they live for chaos. You know what I mean? They live to cause confusion. and Like, that's right there. That's true demons right there. You know? But, um... When you make the sound decision that you wanted to be... That you're a man and then you want to get turned into a woman. Or surgically turned into a pseudo-woman, I should say. Because to even acknowledge you as a woman, which means I have to throw out everything that I know a woman is... Same thing for trans men, you know, I, I would have to throw out everything that I know what a man is to even acknowledge you and play along with this facade that you are what you think you are. You know, I think I'm a unicorn sometimes, literally. That don't mean I'm an actual fucking unicorn, you know what I mean? I, I think somebody said it in a video before, like, just because you're 25, you know, just because you're 60 doesn't mean that you can be 25, you know, no matter how much you think it. You know, you can feel that way all you want. At the end of the day, you live 60 years on this fucking planet. And you, you're you not 25 anymore, no matter how many times you want to feel like that. You know, that you're in a state of denial at that point. And when you're trying to trick people into buying into this lie, this house of lie that you built around yourself to make yourself feel so comfortable. I'm talking about with the friends you got, the family members that just... That just accept you. First off, if you accept anybody that's doing bullshit like that, you're not a supportive friend. There's a difference between being a supportive friend and being an enabler. But that's for another video. I mean, I, I can get into deep shit, but trust me, man. Like, it's just, it's fucked up when somebody thinks that they can just trick you like that and it's not wrong. You know, how is that not wrong? How is your mentality that, okay, I... I'm a trans woman, but I see this dude, this guy over here that I like, and I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna try, you know, and you know, play the role of a woman and see if I can trick him into being gay. You know, like, come on, knowing that if he knew that you was a trans woman, he wouldn't fuck with you. So you're influencing his decision by leaving out, you know, vital information. Then when he finds out later on down the line that you are trans, what you think he gonna do to you? You know, not everybody's a killer. He probably beat you with a bat or something, but you damn sure gonna feel the wrath of somebody that you tricked. You know, so... Y'all better start wising the fuck up and stop doing that dumb shit. 
You know, I mean, at the end of the day, even if I don't personally want them to be around, hey, I'm not, like I said, I don't have no criminal record, so I'm not, you know, I'm not dealing with them, but it's scary to think that there's people like, that. and I, I knew this before, you know, I mean, being a little kid, I, I always had a creative imagination, so it was never out of the question for me to think that this world was going to do some fucked up shit, maybe not on this level, but, you know, and it's getting worse. You know, I mean, dude, I, it's a lot. It's a lot, you know. Um, so I guess I'm going to uh, end it with this and give my series a shameless plug. I have another stupidly honest uh, video coming out, department stories, yes. But it's also going to be a personal one about life. Like, why the fuck do white people find so much interest in the word nigga? And this stems from me being at work and being around white people that that have said the word nigga uh, around me but it was such a like you know I snapped on them of course not enough to me to, for me to lose my job because what I wanted to do to them I couldn't do to them because of that but it's, it's everything gonna be talked about in that video but yeah trans people stop being stupid tell the person that you're with that you know that if they knew they wouldn't want to be with you tell the person who you are tell the person what you was naturally born as don't get yourself hurt in the long run and don't hurt them in the long run. That is some fucked up, arrogant, stupid ass shit.